So Richard takes pride in his work. He takes pride in his campus and he is always looking out for the details. Um, he always says, this is my campus. The first thing parents see is me and my work because everything that they see is reflective of me. So he wants to make sure that everything is perfect. He is committed not only to campus cleanliness, but just being an asset um, to upholding a positive campus climate as well. My name is Richard Acosta. I've been with the school district 18 years. The best part of being a classified employee is being behind the scenes and getting the school ready along with all the other classified staff to keep the school running. You know, we're just behind the scenes a little bit, but we're the ones that help make it roll smoothly. There's always gotta be somebody in the background. Richard believes that our students deserve the absolute best environment um, to keep them focused on learning. If students are having issues, if he notices that there could be a potential conflict with students on campus, he's quick to alert teachers and administrative staff. I um, talk with a lot of kids between classes, lunchtime. They come up to me, talk to me, say hi. I feel I'm, you know, approachable, probably because I've been in the same place they were. And if it wasn't for somebody spending time with me, you know, who knows where I would have been. It's just, I'm not there just to pick up a paycheck. Richard is very private. Um, in fact, I think I'm gonna get in trouble for even doing this because he doesn't like to be in the limelight. He's a behind the scenes person who is there for support of, of everybody. And he will give you the shirt off his back. He's drawn to help people. And he's always been that way. Students in alternative ed, they have had to survive in environments where some adults would not be able to uh, make it through to see the end. The students that come here are extremely resilient, but they need someone who cares and they want to know that they have a familiar face that is interested in them beyond academics. And Richard is that person for a lot of our students on campus. So Richard really becomes an extended member of their family and every student needs that safe space. Richard runs a boxing program that's well known in the community. Um, and he uses that as an olive branch to make connections with some of the young men on campus. My boxing program has been going on about 12 years now. I've been boxing since I was a little kid. But I decided when I was at the high schools, I ran into some kids who were having problems and they always wanted to be fighting. So I got them to train with me and learned that boxing is just not punching each other. You've got to have discipline. So once we work in the discipline factor in, they didn't want to fight no more. Hey Richard, you taught me how to fight and defend myself. Nobody else has done that for me. Nobody ever gave me a choice. Everybody just left and you stood there. You stood there until I came. You waited, you had patience. You took care of me. I thank you, Richard, for putting clothes on my back, for giving me meals and a place to stay. Also giving me guidance, being a mentor, a teacher. You taught me a lot. You taught me how to be not just somebody, but myself. I'm happy to call you my dad. Nobody else did what you did for me. I love you, Richard. His unique talent of creating that safe space lets them know that there are good people. You're not in this alone. We are here to support you. And also, he role models what they can do to pay it forward. It's important to mentor these kids and get them to realize if you don't have an education, there's always going to be somebody that has an education that will get the job before you. Kids will know, they can feel it. You know, they can feel when you're talking to them, or when you're genuine or anything like that, they can feel it. You know, they tell me that I helped them or I did for them. I said, no, I just kind of guided you. You had to do the work. He is so deserving. I've seen him 
at his absolute worst, tired, and he's still consistently giving back to the students. He never stops. If there were more people like Richard in this world, this world would be a much better place. Because of you, Richard, I'm engaged. And I'm looking to get married pretty soon. And I got a little peanut coming in too. So boy, I may not be 100% okay, but I am okay. I'm okay because of you. And you should be proud of yourself. Thank you, Richard. You are the best thing that ever happened to everybody.